Okay. So this will be how to import an object that you've uh, saved from, or that you made in another scene. So let me see something. Recent files. Oh, that doesn't exist. Uh, all right, so check this out. This is something I made. I was trying to do like a boat launch kind of thing. No, actually, I did do it. My whole thing was I was trying to put uh, some water into it. So just to show you what's happening. I don't know if you all have seen ship launches, but they just drop them into the water. So this is supposed to be like, shh, bow. Okay. So there's my ship. And let's say I want to, I made this in one scene and I want to uh, export it, right? I'll select it or let's, I'll just select this part because this part is uh, just this, right? So I'll go like this. There's two ways to do it. You go file, export selection, and then I can go here and then I can say it is a ship, ship test, right? XB, FBX, right? I'll just do FB at the end just to do it. FBX, export selection. Sometimes it'll have, you know, a warning depending on what it is. Okay, so I just did an FBX, right? And I'm gonna do another way, right? So I'm gonna do file, um, export selection, and we can do uh, OBJ, right? And so I'll do ship test OB, all right? So it's in there now. And I'll do one more actually, just so there's three ways. We'll go to cache, Alembic cache, uh, export selection to Alembic, desktop, ship, test, ABC. All right. I should have put the underscore. Okay, all right. So now I'll do file, uh, new scene, don't say, all right, so here's my new scene, right? Now, if I wanna bring those in, there's three different ways. I can go to file, import, I'm in my desktop, ship test. Let's go to the OBJ. No, let's go to the FBX, that was our first one, right? FBX, it's in there, right? So this is my ship. FBX and FBX, I think, yeah, it comes in with animation. All right. Um, so let's hide this one. So I'll just click it and press H. Oh, another way we can hide is we have layers too, just like in um, Photoshop. So if we go over here, um, I can select my object and then click on this last one create a layer and assign selected objects. So I create, click on this, I can call it boat or whatever. Oh, I spelled boat wrong, but well, whatever, right? Click on yellow or something. Now, if I click on V for visibility, I can hide it. So this is a uh, yeah, way to just split up and have layers. And then if I want to like add another layer, I mean, add, add another object to my layer, I can just select the object, right click, add selected objects, and then we can disable their visibility. And also you can do uh, T for template, so it shows it's there, and reference means that it's there, but you can't like move it. I don't, you're not supposed to be able to move it. Oh, wait, maybe it's not reference. Maybe it was template. Oh, I thought it was reference. One of these, you're not supposed to be able to touch it, or it's not supposed to be able to move. Yeah, anyway, it's layers. So, um, yeah, that's the first way we import stuff in. And then we can do file, import, 
ship test OBJ import. Now it's in here. I don't know why it came out black like that. Um, but we can just go to faces, double click, shift right click, face normals, reverse normals. And it should, ooh, I don't know. Why is it black like that? It's on existing material, Lambert. Oh, okay. Maybe it just didn't have a material for whatever reason. All right, so um, OBJ comes in, but OBJ doesn't have animation. So that might be, I don't know, the one you want. You could do it either way. Um, so this is that one. I will hide it or I'll put it on my layer. So right click, add selected objects just to disable the visibility. And the last way is Alembic. Now I saw something interesting. When I did file import, usually Alembic, I would think you'd have to access it a different way, but let's see if this way works. If I go to import. Hmm. You don't see the animation on it though. Let me hide that. I'll try it this way, because this is the way I'm usually used to doing it. Go to cache, Alembic cache, import Alembic, desktop, ship test ABC. And then, yeah, I don't know, I see the locator, but maybe I copied the locator and I didn't copy the ship that time when I did Alembic. But um, well, either way, OBJ and FBX would be the way to import it in. This is supposed to come in with animation. I don't know why it isn't. I just, it's probably something I forgot to click or I didn't. Well, actually this is here. So it did import with animation, but I don't think I chose the ship. I must've just did something wrong or with when I select it and then export it. But yeah, that's how you would get an object from another scene into your current scene. And that brings the UV over with it too? Oh yeah, everything comes. Yeah, except for the texture, you would have to like add that, I guess, again. But, um, but yeah, it, uh, yeah, everything comes in UV. Let me see the UVs on this. Do I have UVs on it? I might. Ooh, I don't have no UVs on it. It's kind of bad. <laughs> No, I think I should have UVs. Maybe it's on my other one. Wow, none of these have UVs on. I'm actually surprised. It could be an older scene, though. UVs are actually supposed to show up, so I'm really surprised. Oh, oh, I know why. You know why they didn't show up? Because it's not visible. Uh, so now when I click on it, it should have the UV. Yeah, see? That one doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. Yeah, here it goes. I feel like there's two different objects. There's something. Yeah, it's this part. Well, anyway, yeah, it comes in with the UVs. So with the bottle, it should be nice and simple to do. So 